It's spooky season again, and this time we're back to show you some budget DIY decor ideas. Yeah. So what do we have? We pretty much went to the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree, and most of the supplies come from the, do the Dollar Tree. Uh, two things though, well, really one thing, two for us because there are radio controlled cars. We got those from Five Below. So Five Below, Dollar Tree, you can get everything you see here, and we're gonna make some spooky stuff with it. So our first project here is making these spooky pool noodle candles. The material list is really simple on this. The dollar store has some tea lights. You'll use a pool noodle from the dollar store, and we just need hot glue and some black paint. Our first step here is to just take a box cutter some or scissors, and you just want to cut the pool noodle into a couple different sizes. This will be the body of the candle. You can see here we're just trying to choose what size all these candles will be. And we're going to make a trio of them. We will make one extra one because it's going to be for another project later on. So you can see here we're just wanting to get a size reference for how big that tea light is. And we have to kind of empty out or hollow out some of that pool noodle as it's just too small, that hole. Kristen's using a box cutter here. And we just found that actually picking away at the foam was actually better than cutting through it or trying to, you know, slice away. Especially um, be careful if you're using a box cutter as there's not much foam there so you don't want to cut yourself. Once we got that all figured out, we just did that three more times to make it so each candle would hold a bow Once we have the tea lights in there and they fit well, now it's just a matter of going and taking hot glue and the hot glue gun. We just need to go around the upper edge of the foam noodle to make it look like wax is dripping down, like it was an actual candle. So you can see here, you'll see that the glue slowly kind of creeps down the outside of the foam. It gives it a really cool effect. Our last step in this is to just spray paint the pool noodles, now made look to look like a candle, black. We chose black because we thought it looked like something you'd see in like a haunted house. And this is just normal spray paint, uh, high gloss we chose on this one to try and make it look like the edges were wet, like it was actually dripping. And there you have it. This is the finished work here. After we put in the tea lights and we flip them on, they all fit in there nice and snug and we ended up gluing these three candles together so that they're kind of always in this arrangement like that okay so for our next project we're gonna be trying to make a bewitched broom that'll kind of move around on its own so where we've gone to get our supplies we went to five below that's where you can get your RC car okay and then the rest of it's from the dollar store so we need to have the mop heads okay they will also have some decorative rope we've got some spray starch and hairspray we're going to figure out which one works better that's going to help stiffen up the mop head and then for the handle of our broom uh, we are using two different types of uh, handles here this is the dustpan and then this is the squeegee mop uh, floor mop so we'll see which one works better we'll also need some scissors hot glue hot glue gun uh, and then, of course, paint. We're going to need some paint to make and age this mop head uh, so that it looks like a broom and not a mop head. Mop head, mop head, mop head. Mop head. Yep, there's, there's uh, clips on there. I so just pull it. <laughs> you can't. you got to follow the instructions. Our first step, take the uh, mop head. This is where... Now I can't say mop head. That's what it's called. Our first step is to take the mop head and take that out of the bag. This is what we will need to kind of spread out and stiffen up using spray starch or hairspray so that we can paint it later on. Kristen's taking the plastic, if you have the same model as us, taking the plastic clips off of the RC car so that you can go and remove the body of it, like the shell, so it looks like this. 
Not well, though. How's it going? Yeah. We don't have all day for this, you know? I really can't get it. Can you help me, partner? Sure. Partner. So to help keep the mop head off of the RC car and so low, we're just using a just a scrap piece of wood. This is a two by four cut. It's only about two and a half inches long, uh, but the height of it there. And we'll try that out. So we've got two different heights really. And ooh, it fits like perfectly. So we are just using these scrap pieces of two by four and I'm gonna hot glue one right on top of the car there. And then I'll glue the mop pad on top of that, let everything hang down, and then hopefully we can start stiffening the fabric. With the piece of wood on there now, I'm just going to take the mop head, and we are going to take the mop heads, flip it over, and we'll put our hot glue right there and glue it on top of our car like that, and then start arranging and get everything looking nice. Cool. There is lint everywhere, it's in your hair. Oh, man. Like a lot. <clears throat> you also need a lint roller for this project. That could just be gray hair. It's not. So while it's kind of uh, cooling, that hot glue, you can kind of fan out, start to fan out very gently your all the, what do you call that on a map? The tassels. Tentacles. The, the tentacles. The phalanges. Does this not, um, does this not stiffen without heat? I don't know. Is that what it says? What is this? Yeah, I don't think this is doing anything without heat. I think I used way too much. Something is changing. We'll be back. There. It's going great. Going great. We may be cutting this part out, so I think we need to to relay our experience with with the starch and the hairspray to everybody. It didn't go well. Pick your glasses or no glasses. There you go. I'll let you know which camera we're on. Just look in that general direction. <laughs> All right, so we tried a couple things. We tried some hairspray. We tried some starch. Probably a waste of time. Yeah, I think just the paint. Like we use spray paint to get this color in here. We use some gold paint and some brown and black paint. And that's how we got this kind of look, and it's 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 kind of stiff. It's still a little um, movable. Yeah. But it holds its shape, which is what we need, so it doesn't get caught up in the wheels. So I would say probably if you're gonna try this, just go straight for the spray paint, and that'll do the job. Yeah. All right. So we put batteries into our RC cars underneath, um, and now what do we have left? Well. Ooh. They do drive a little bit, but now we have to turn it into a broom. So we've got to attach our handles and then just do a couple finishing touches. So we've got two different handles, both from the dollar store. You have the dustpan. The dustpan model. And I've got the uh, the floor. This the one? Floor. <laughs> yeah, yours is taller. I yeah. thought shorter might be better to not add the weight on, I guess. Yeah. Also, mine was already black, so I didn't have to do anything to it. But... I just spray painted mine. Spray painted Ooh. yours because it was white. I missed the spot. What are we going to do right here, though? This is not actually... I'm going to have to hot glue mine in. It doesn't fit quite, but that's not a problem. I thought we I thought we checked that. All right, dustpan does not fit the mop handle. We're going along for just trial and error, and you're with us. It's a journey. It's crafting. So I missed some spot here with the spray paint, but... We were going to put some rope on there anyways. So, we're going to decorate it, right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll need to have glue gun anyways. 
Perfect. It's all part of the plan. We'll just tell that in the editing. So we've got some decorative rope that's from the dollar store as well. And I'm just going to split this in half. And hopefully that's enough for both of us. What this will do, though, uh, we will decorate the bottom part of the the uh, mop here, or the broom, the broom, and we'll just kind of wrap this up to kind of hide this part of the connection or the mop head there, and it's hopefully going to cover up the part that I missed painting. Um, and Chris is going to do the same thing. Watch your fingers. Ouch. Figure out halfway. Close enough. So just using hot glue and just doesn't you know it's supposed to look old. It's supposed to look like a witch's broom, so it's not gonna be perfect. Cool. I think I'm just gonna end mine right there. Oh, yours yours? Like, yeah, yours, yours looks good. How many move your hand? She always no, does a better good. job. Joke man. Quick, quick. All right, so these are our final results. I think I'm mostly happy with it. Yeah. I, can, I can see the wheels a little bit sometimes through the mop head. Um, if you're going to do this, I would maybe... If I was going to do this again, I would maybe right, pick you. another mop head that's a little more full. Maybe use two and cut off some of them and add to it. Oh, yeah. We also had the idea to use, like, straw, like craft straw. That would give you really good coverage. But I think for just dollar store items, what we picked out, this is not bad. Well, that's good. Let's sweep something. Oh, my gosh. What happened, Kristen? What do you High mean? five. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, turn away. Look away. <laughs> In this next budget project, we need. We've got a dollar store tin here. We've got this spooky hand. It was just by itself. Just one hand. I think it was like the bin of bones or something like that. Bone bin. <laughs> Bag of bones. Bag of bones. Um, and we made one extra candle from the pool noodle project. Um, and I think we're going to try and put them together and make like a spooky wall sconce. Yeah, yeah, let's see what, how this goes. So I don't think we have to do anything to this. This is ready. It's metal. Our candle's good to go too. Candle's good. And it's nice that we use the pool noodle one. It's nice and light. We don't have to worry about supporting too much weight. But the hand needs some work, I think. Yeah. So we're going to try and curl up the hand so that it's like holding the candle. It doesn't have to be like actually holding onto it, but at least kind of like closing its its fingers. So we're going to try with a heat gun to melt those fingers just a little bit so that we can move them up so it's more realistic. There we go. So yeah, the heat gun works just fine. We're just melting it down just enough to pull that those fingers up one at a time. All we've done is like the first like joint, like the bottom joint of your finger. And we'll do like the next one to kind of curl it up a little bit. All right, we got, what is this, the pinky? Wait, are we missing a finger? No, that's the thumb. That's a, it's a big, that's long a big thumb. thumb. I don't have my glasses on, where's the smoke coming from? Was there smoke? Yeah. I thought there was for a second. We'll look back at the footage. Okay. Look at that. All right, cool. Wish and I could. <laughs> Now don't, now when we're doing this, we're not using an actual votive or candle, nothing with an actual flame. So we wouldn't recommend that. This is just for oh, like a LED or battery operated tea light. We're gonna use hot glue. We'll see how it works on there. And uh, here we go. Here we go. Make more? No, that's good. That looks great. Does it look? Mm -hmm. I mean, if we mess up, you can always pry this off and try again. Yeah, exactly. The hot glue worked better than I thought. 
just sort of a blob of it on there mm -hmm. is enough to hold that up because the hand's not very heavy. There's no weight with the pool noodle and the little candle, so it holds pretty well. You might want to glue this onto here just because yeah. it's not a flat surface, but let's do that real quick. Yeah. I don't know why I doubted this one, but I think this was our quickest and easiest so far. Yeah, that's great. It looks cool. I just can't hold it straight, but how many is it? It's a little crooked. Maybe it's been in a spooky house for a while. It's haunted. It's not brand new. It's got yeah. some wear and tear. It's a little crooked. Yeah. Throw some spider webs on there. Ooh, Ooh good we'll idea. Be able to tell. It's perfect for your haunted house. Really ups the spooky factor around here. Yeah, yeah. After the blockbuster project we just did, we had another idea. We're gonna step it up. Oh yeah, this is going to add one more arm, hand. Is it? No, no not really. We're okay. going to break it off. So uh, we've got a different tray from the dollar store. We've got. I don't know, candy tongs or something? These are, yeah, they're tongs. I think they're supposed to be like salad tongs, but spooky salad spooky. tongs. And then we've got this really cool like lantern that has already in it a little light in there. Maybe if we, you know, turn it on. Oh, we have to add the batteries. It's on a budget. Remember, batteries not included. Well, what are, what batteries are? This, <laughs> this works better. <laughs> Hold on. Pause. <laughs> I haven't thought this through. <laughs> I just need you to grab that hand for me. There you go. Just hold on to it for a second. No, just pull oh. it up a little bit. Yep. So I can... <laughs> you almost smacked yourself right in your face. <laughs> it doesn't really work. Hey, everybody! So for this project, we're going to use a lantern and a tray and some salad dogs. We'll need some hot glue. We'll probably use that high, uh, the, the uh, heat gun again, too. Okay. It's All right. It's going to be good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that worked too well. So what we're thinking on this is... It would be kind really, of, you're really just rolling right into it. We're, we are. We're okay. rolling right into it. That would be, well, maybe this way? I don't know. How should... That would be a more realistic way to hold on to the lantern. First, let's, let's get rid of this. Are we going to return this at all? No. We're not returning. Okay. So probably, if we can, let's try and make it so the hand is holding the lantern like this and then this is like the forearm and then like the upper arm but let's kind of we're going to pretend let's let's make it so it's like this what do you think more like a full-size arm and elbow okay can we do that let's try it how about we manipulate the okay, let's melt the hands around the handle of it okay go for it So while I try and heat up the hand, since it's taking a little bit longer than we thought. I'm going to go ahead and spray paint spray paint this black. I think it might just look a little well, more spooky. like what we're going for. Yeah, yeah. The, this one here, the light pops out, so we don't have to worry about like mask, masking off or taping off anything. So Kristen will do that. I'll melt the hands, and we'll be back. So now that we've got the hand kind of holding on to the lantern... Kristen's out painting a lantern right now. I think I'm going to need a saw, so you need a parent to help you out, or an adult, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and cut the hand, the top hand, from the wrist here, so we can make it so it's like the arm and an elbow. We're going to make the elbow, we're not going to use this little tiny elbow. So, we're going to cut off the hand. Here we go. So our idea here is to Make it like this. This is how we're going to glue up our hand. It's going to be like an arm with an elbow 
holding the lantern. Just hot glue that, that elbow together so that we're holding up the, uh, the arm will hold up the, the lantern. And uh, I'm just going to do that and we'll use some tape. The tape here is going to just secure to the table so that we can get the angle of that um, to be just right. All right, we've got our painted lantern. Nice job. And now we've got, it's all cooled and dried up. We've got our arm here ready to go. So now we just need to glue it onto the little tray here, and then we'll- Hope hang, for the best. Hope for the best. Then we'll hang it like that. Oh, look at that. That looks good. All right, so we need some hot, more hot glue. We're gonna put it right onto our, uh, our what is this called? Tray. Tray. Very fancy. So now with that glued up, now it's just a matter of hanging the lantern on the hand. Amazing. Let's see. Spooky. What happens when you don't wait until it dries? Oh, that's good. Look at that. We've got two things. Uh, this would be cool. Put a little, some candy right here. <laughs> a little charcuterie. Charcuterie. <laughs> some candy right here. It's great. All right, and there you have it. There's four budget-friendly Halloween decorations. We've got our candles with the pool noodles. We've got our lanterns here with two different ways, sconce and a tabletop one. And... And the Bewitched Broom, which I think is my favorite. I think this is my favorite one. Yeah, it came out nice. It came out good. Stay spooky.